Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be swatching these six new Halloween shades from China Glaze in their Spellbound collection. I love that China Glaze always comes out with a Halloween collection. I feel like they're really the only mainstream nail polish brand that does this. I love fun, festive shades for particular holidays, and I feel like this year especially means something to look forward to, so if it's just Halloween nail polishes, I'm totally here for it. So I'm going to be swatching and reviewing all six of these new polishes, so if you're interested in seeing what they look like, then just keep on watching. This first shade is called Paybacks A Witch, and this is a fun pumpkin orange glitter. Has a fantastic formula. I honestly forgot that China Glaze switched to the wider brushes. They did that like two years ago. I don't know why I forgot they did that, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I really feel like it helps the polish just apply so smoothly and quickly, but this formula is fantastic and it definitely will be completely opaque in two. Such a fun shade for Halloween and just fall in general. Here's a second coat. And this one is completely opaque in two. Such a pretty shade. It reminds me of like a glittery pumpkin spice latte, if that makes any sense. I love pumpkin spice lattes. I love that it's fall and Halloween season. So exciting. But yeah, beautiful color, super easy to apply, and really just such a stunning shade. This shade is called Kiss and Spell, and this is such a pretty, like, deep berry shade with some orange shimmer. Very unique, perfect for fall and Halloween. I really love, honestly, by the looks of this collection, that they're all super unique. I think China Glaze does a really good job of creating shades that are fairly unique and have something that kind of sets them apart from just regular cream polishes. Don't get me wrong, I love cream polishes. It's basically all I ever wear on my nails, but I love a good, fun shade. Also, it looks like this one's drying matte, which is so fun. Yeah, it definitely dries matte. Cool, all right, so here's the first coat. Here's the second coat. So this one does dry down matte, and I think it looks super cool matte. However, I do really like the look of that shimmer shiny. So if you want this one to be shiny, just add a glossy top coat. But if you like it matte, just leave it matte. I mean, that's totally such a fun finish, but just personally, I think I like the look of it shiny better but you can totally make that decision for yourself. So there are two coats. This shade is called Hex Boyfriend, and it's kind of like a deep emerald shade. Honestly, it's a one coat wonder. This one also feels like it's gonna dry matte. I don't know why, but just something about the formula, it's a little bit on the thicker side. So I think this one's gonna dry matte, and it's seriously, a one coat wonder and honestly because the formula is so thick I might only just do one coat for the swatch of picture if you guys are cool with that <laughs> I guess you don't really have a say that's my decision but I think I'm only gonna do one coat I do like the way that this one looks shiny but the fact that it's matte is pretty cool makes it unique and sets it apart from other polishes. But this formula is definitely on the thicker side. I don't know if it's just my bottle or the fact that it is a polish that dries matte, but just something to be aware of. It might be a little bit more difficult to apply, especially for a beginner. So I totally lied. This polish kind of dried weird. I don't know if you guys can see some of those like bald patches, but I am gonna cover them up with a second coat. And I forgot that I wasn't filming when I started swatching the ring finger again for the second coat. But with this one being a thicker polish too and a matte polish, this one I feel like is just bound to chip way more quickly than regular polishes. So definitely having a good base coat can help. Also, I've found that using a shiny or like a glossy top coat does help prolong the life of your manicure. But if you're just wearing this one for like a few days around Halloween, you'll totally be fine. This shade is called Having a Crystal Ball. And this is super unique. I don't even know how to describe this polish. I guess kind of like a duochrome polish. Kind of shifts from purple to fuchsia. 
Sometimes duochrome polishes don't really pick up well, at least with my camera and filming setup, so hopefully you guys are able to see this. But it's a little bit sheer on the first coat, but I still feel like two coats will make it completely opaque, but we shall see. Here's the second coat. And it does appear that this one covers completely in two. I really love that this is such a fun, unique shade. Definitely kind of like a periwinkle blue, but it just has something like mysterious about it, which I think is one of the reasons why it's just perfect for Halloween. And I also love that this collection isn't just like purple, orange, and black, like, you know, your basic Halloween colors. I love that it like kind of switches it up. So there are two coats. This shade is called Spell the Tea, and this is a gray polish with some red micro glitters. I definitely feel like I have a nail polish super similar to this, and I want to say it's from a China Glaze Halloween collection. I just can't put my finger on it right now, so if any of you guys remember a polish similar to this one, let me know. Or if it's from a different brand, I can't remember. But it's still really unique and, like, pretty nonetheless. <laughs> but there's the first coat. Here's the second coat. And this one covers completely in two. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the formulas on these polishes. I feel like China Glaze really knocked it out of the park with this po this collection. So there are two coats. Last but not least is Coven's and Caviar. And this looks like a black cream polish, but I can already tell just by how thick the formula is. It's going to dry matte, which is nice, especially like these polishes that already dry matte. You don't have to worry about adding a matte top coat and, you know, worrying about all of that. It's kind of already like built in for you. The only thing is that these polishes, I don't think last as long as like regular polishes do. So, you know, like you can just add a glossy top coat, but since this one is kind of just plain black, adding a glossy top coat might defeat the purpose of this polish because it's supposed to dry matte, if it makes any sense. But it covers really well on that first coat, so honestly, like, I'll do a second just in case what happened with that green one happens again, but pretty much a one coat wonder right here. Here's the second coat. So I would say, I mean, here's the thing. It covers really well. The only problem I'm having is the fact that this polish is thicker and that's because it's meant to dry matte. I just think it is a little bit difficult to paint on, especially if you want nice, thin, even coats. You want thin coats with this polish, that way it dries evenly and it dries matte like quickly because if it's too gloppy, it'll just take forever to dry. It won't dry even. So definitely not a polish for like a brand new beginner or you're going to get frustrated, um, but it's great nonetheless. I mean, it's a fun matte black polish for Halloween, but definitely not something that I love. Like, this formula is not my favorite, but I still love this collection. Don't get me wrong. So that's going to be it for my live swatch and review of the China Glaze Spellbound Halloween Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know if you like this collection, if you think you'll be picking up any of these polishes for Halloween, and let me know what shade is your favorite. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.